Robotic surgery is the newest and most improved technology in the medical world. Could it be improved further? This video defines robotic surgery, explores the present day state and use of robotic surgery, and discusses the obstacles that stand in the way of unassisted robotic surgery, a theoretical procedure where the robot would be programmed to perform the operation. I can adjust the way I make it look, normal, fine, ultra fine. Uh, it's give and take. My fingers are going to go like this. It's like chopsticks. There's two little things for fingers, okay? Oh, wow. So you're, you're that... operating like this. The camera so... here, I can, I can move. I, I, when I want to move the camera around, I press the camera, and then I move these, and that moves the camera instead. My hands are all like this. I can press the clutch and I reposition without them moving. Right, so there's no patient, but mm -hmm. this is how it would be. Two images are coming from here, they go to the back of the robot, they're mixed in the back of the robot, and then shot through there. Well, first of all, the patients want it. They're not removing kidney tumors. If I'm doing a partial nephrectomy, mm -hmm. in the old days, it'd be sick, it would take you six weeks to recover from it. Mm -hmm. Now I can go in, if I'm taking out a tumor that big, I go in there, I dissect out the blood vessels, I clamp the blood vessels, cut the tumor out, stitch it with this, suture it, you can close up the kidney using this, you can put packings in it and close. That patient go home, goes home with only an incision only big enough to take that one tumor out and it usually goes home the next day. Back to work in a week. It's a big advantage for that, but it does have some advantage. Uh, re anything we reconstruct is much easier here very, uh, as we were saying, it's much harder to suture laparoscopically than it is in the robot. The robot has as much, has, as Casey will tell you, the robotic instruments have a bigger range of motion than your own hand and wrist. You can turn it all the way around and turn it backwards and do all these things. Then I have to go back over the patient to help close all the incisions. You would actually get up, but so you'd comp it would be combined, robot. Manual. Yeah, you have to start off manually and you gotta finish manually. <laughs> Plus your assistant is manual. I mean getting, the assistant is, is suctioning and doing things. You know, because it takes not only different instruments and different hands, somebody's got to you know, I can't I can't stop to suction every time I wanna suction. He's suctioning the whole time and just and retracting things for me and I have already had robotic surgery. Um, unassisted is where the robot would not be controlled by, by the, the doctor. I don't know. I, that, 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 that's really a tricky question because I've had it when it's guided by the doctor. Um, I would really have to... Th I probably would if the robot had done it several hundred times before with no complications. But you wouldn't want to end up like Frankenstein. Uh, nah, now you mean still with a surgeon in the con? Nobody has to put the ports in. I, I don't. I just don't think that that would be practical. You could probably do it, but it would be it would take forever. I mean, because you can put in the ports so quickly by hand. No, because I don't think so. Because every if you could see the operation, you could see why that wouldn't be the case. Because it's a lot of visual feedback. I mean, every prostate is shaped, and like, no two prostates are shaped the same. Some of them have a big blob of tissue coming up this way. Some of them have more fat. Sometimes you're looking at something, and you have to decide: is that the prostate? Is that you know? The, and the machine will not be able to make the current. I don't think there's any way. I don't think so. I think there's too much uh, ana there's too many, too much anatomical variation. That you could probably do, but you'd probably still have to have a surgeon in the room in case something. Yeah, that I'm sure they could do. Robotic surgery is the future. However, the obstacles that stand in this way will only take time to overcome. The process has already started, though. Dr. Rosenfeld stated that more and more patients want the robot-assisted surgery. As people become more and more comfortable with technology, the prospects of unassisted robotic surgery grow. Talk so loud, their piercing sounds fill my ears, try to fill me.